I sit here and look at the two legends, dude. Two of my favorite characters in this series, period. Squaring off against one another, dude. If we get this full fight this chapter, I'm definitely going to need the shades. I don't know where they are. I think I misplaced them. You know, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I got them, I got them, I got them, I got them. We're just, we're just going to tuck them away right here in case... They're going to see heavy use in this chapter, dude. Uta versus Juzo. One of the realest things I could ever witness in my life is about to unfold. I honestly didn't expect this in this chapter at all. Because both this and the setup with Urie, you know, that the madness with the two Kakagan, him releasing the frames. I think that knowing Ashida, I, I assumed we wouldn't see either of these and we'd probably just focus on Kaneki's group. Because that would be the most apt to flesh out right now. But no. Seemingly we're going in with this. I don't I don't trust him that it's going to be a full chapter thing. But if it is. And I actually get to see. One thing I'm really hyped for. Regardless of what the outcome of this fight is going to be. I can't even choose a side right now. But I just want to see Uta's full abilities. I know Juzo is one of the people that can push him to that extent. dude. I I would be willing. With, with, with Arata Joker. I'd be willing to bet on Juzo. But Uta's a lord. Uta's one of my best friends. Uta occupied a higher slot than Juzo in my in my first top five video, like I said. And speaking of which, Chibi has coaxed me into doing the top five that I promised so long ago, which I never got around to because we all know I only keep like 35% to 40% of my promises. But I will do that. I'm going to get a two-week window to get this video done. That way, I won't be faltering because I know at some point... In the next two weeks, I'll be able to sit down and record this video. It's not like I have to think about my top five. I just need to sit down and record it and say my piece on each of the characters. And I know that's going to take some time. So, with that said, look forward to that. Or maybe don't if you don't trust me. I, 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 I'll completely understand if you want to take that kind of route where it's just like, we'll wait and see if this fucking thing actually comes. Speaking of which, and honestly, this is by far the latest I've ever read a Tokyo Ghoul chapter in the last two years unless I was out of town, straight up. It's crazy to me how it took me so long. I know a lot of you were anti to see me do it, which made me really happy to see all the comments of people asking me, where's the Tokyo Ghoul video? What the fuck? From what I've heard, the chapter is crazy. And I've managed to avoid spoilers for the most part, aside from a little bit of dialogue about some, some cloning shit, which I actually don't understand without the context. So that's all I've heard. I've heard some talk of cloning. I really have no idea what to do with that. Until I read this chapter. But otherwise, I've been been able to remain spoiler-free. I'm really curious to see how this, this chapter plays out, dude. Because I've heard people hyping it up. One thing I do have to say, though, is you can ask me all you want where something else is. And this doesn't just apply to Tokyo Ghoul. This is just in general. You can ask me all you want where something is. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love that. And I appreciate it because it shows that you guys genuinely love and care about my content. And are excited to get more of it. Um, so I, I love that, but I'm probably never going to answer that question because either A, I don't fucking know myself when I'm going to get around to it. Like this weekend was hectic for me, which is why we didn't do it. This is why I had like the least videos I've had all season on the weekend because I was just all over the place Saturday um, and Sunday. I was just, I don't even want to get into its personal stuff, but Sunday was just a horrible day for me. So there was no time to sit down and read this and record a video that I thought would be good. You know what I'm saying? And it pains me because I always wait to read the chapter to a reaction or, or sit down and do my review. Um, and it's been that way for a while. So like I could have been read this chapter and know what everybody was saying about it and, and delved into to discussion with it. But I didn't want to not do the reaction, especially knowing how hype it was. So if something's not there, just you'll see it, especially Tokyo Ghoul. I will never, ever miss a Tokyo Ghoul chapter unless like I'm I'm physically unable to do it straight up I will I'll never do it like it'll always happen at some point so with that said we're gonna dive into the chapter I've rambled on long enough we're finally back out here recording the reactions I'm done with the streaming bullshit and I'm really hyped right now look look at this paneling dude Tokyo Ghoul 
chapter 110. Let's get into it. No face faces off against the CCG's black sheep. <laughs> that descent, dude! The, 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 the man just slightly bounded off the light post. That gentle drop. Yo, yo Uta's about to go in. I feel it. <sighs> Ushida, let's go, my dude. Let's fucking go. See, I'm so curious. Something like this, I want to see the direction Ushida takes it in. This panel is sick. Unless there's something crazier, that might have to be thumbnail right here. That's fucking amazing. Look, look at my son, Yuzo, bro. See, this is by far, still, even even as my, you guys know I'm an Uta fanboy, but still, this has always been, continues to be my top characters of Tokyo Ghoul. Never, it's never even changed. My son. Straight to the throat with the blade. Well, we've seen that's the thing though. We've seen how much damage Uta can realistically take and be unfazed after that fight with Hiraku. So I'm not even I'm not even concerned about that. Bro, Juzo's not playing, bro. Let's go. Getting riddled with the blades though, from head to toe. He isn't fighting back, which makes me, which is concert, disconcerting for me because that means that he's, he, he has a plan here. He's just playing with you right now. He's clearly toying with him. Why? Why are you doing this? See, yo, that's fucked up, though. Uta, I love you, but even th this is a little bit too far. This is actually, this actually hurts me a little bit. But it, what, what else, what else should I expect from him? What else should I really expect from the man? This man donned the guise of Shinohara in front of Juzo. Tell me, tell me, my my boy is not gonna fall prey to that. Tell me, he has resolved. I mean, even Hirako faltered for a moment when the man donned the guise of of Arima. Dude, he's no face ability. See, this is this is one thing about about Tokyo Ghoul in general and about Ri, just like Uta and the no face shit and and, and donning everybody's visage. I want to see that animated simply because I want to hear him taking on the voices of them too and having the voice actors play them. But otherwise, you already know I I I can't I can't be bothered with, with Piero fucking around with with a Tokyo Ghoul anime ever again, ever ever again. This is fucked up, dude. Mr. Shino, like he, yo, he legitimately shook. No, nah, actually, I have more faith in, in, in Juzo than this, though. I feel like he, it has to destabilize him, because that's heavy, dude. That's the one person that he truly gained. Like, that, that was the birth of emotion for him again. It's all rooted in Shino Hardy. And the legendary mentor, you're gonna see. That's the thing. That's the thing that gets me too. Is just how much Uta knows overall, bro. I can't wait for like final confrontation. And you see, neither of them can go out in this fight. That's the only other thing that I have to say. There's no need to be so reckless. <laughs> Look at that cognate. See, hold on. Yo, what are those? It's like hollowed out. That's terrifying, dude. It's almost bone-like. Bro, Uta's Kagane is no joke. Last week, people were telling me that they were disappointed in Uta's Kagane. And I was like, how? We barely saw it. We saw one little tendril slither out. Only thing we got out of that is because... And you barely saw it. And we know ever since early, like around the 40s of Re. We've seen and got the explanation of, of how Cogni can shift and, and, and metamorph and develop into higher forms from Eto. It's been seen throughout the progression of part one. Like, ever since getting that speech and then going back and looking at it, you see it time and time again. But anytime somebody reveals a base Cogni at this point, you can't really 100% base their overall potential and their Cogni and, and the look and form of it just off of that, dude. It, it always continuously expands. So that's why I was telling people, we only saw one tendril. All it did to me, based on the positioning, was confirm that he was a Rinkaku, which he's legitimately a Rinkaku. Also explains the regenerative prowess, but that shit is 
terrifying, dude. He has my boy in the embrace. He's shook, dude. I'm expecting when I turn this page for, for Juzo to, like, actually snap the fuck out of it and go in. Maybe he was baiting him, but I legitimately think Uta got to him with this. So fucked up, dude. Okay, good shit. Never mind. He he legitimately didn't go. That man about had to come in there with the slice to the face and 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 break the illusion. He is but an illusion. He must be cut down. I am sorry, Susie. My cosmos. You cannot stay in your universe. Come what may. The fuck are you even talking about right now, my dude? Mikage. I'm sorry. It brought up so many memories that I couldn't help but freeze for- I can't even fault him, dude. That's the one thing- This man, bro. Still toying with him. Humans entrust their dreams even to stars. Billions of light years away. You couldn't help it. I actually have no idea what this dialogue is right now. I, f I f always feel like I both do and do not understand the thing. I, and that, I love that Juzo panel, actually, that little wink is amazing, but I have, I can't even get on that level with you, my boy, I have no idea what the fuck this man is talking about right now, on some sensui shit, like, what the fuck is he, uh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm not, I'm not even gonna, like, pay attention to anything Inoki says from now on. Now could I, it is as we feared, relay the plans to everyone, understood, S3 squad, there are humans mixed in among the clowns. Do not attack the clowns that refuse to fight back. It's easier said than done. There's, they've somehow managed to intimidate these people enough to force them to fight. I guess they're just trying to inflate their numbers, which is what I assume, because I knew... See, th this confirms what I was thinking. They couldn't have just been a raw human force. But I like the idea that everyone was espousing last week, too, um, of it being puppeteered. And it being that kind of, you know, um, remote, detachable cognate that's been implanted in them. If it's the if that's the case, I want it to be a toy, like I said last week. Like, I need it to be a toy just puppeteering from behind the scenes and controlling this mass number of them. Because she hasn't done anything. And then that could place a toy, especially with the information gathering. Um, especially with her huge network. And, and the position that she's had within the series thus far kind of affecting things um, and moving things. It would place her as a counter, as far as PR is concerned, to like you know the characters of of Hinami, um, and and shit like that. So that would be interesting to me uh, if it was positioned like that. Um, but I, I don't know if they're really gonna bring Itori's character back in that light. But we'll see. We'll see. I guess they're just trying to inflate their numbers, but they've now managed to make their opponents feel as though they've sinned. The guy who th Yo! <laughs> Bro, that is a goat food into panel. That face. With those eyes. What a twisted masterclass fiend. The guy who thought this up is a real piece of work. That's euphemistic if I've ever heard it, dude. He's a fucking scum lord. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Holy shit. I, I, I can't even right now. I really can't. And now... Oh, are you kidding me? I mean... Hold on. Let me see something. Let me see something. I should have expected... I, I knew this was going to happen, actually. I knew we wouldn't get the full chapter of this. Don't tell me that... Okay, it's time to issue this order. Nah, but the fight is still in full swing. That can't be the last we see of 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 Susie and, and Uta going against each other. It really can't be. I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll see. I mean, I, I'm hype as fuck for this Uta shit. I mean, for this Uta shit too. I'm not even saying. See, my mind is just heavily on on Uta right now. I'm hype as fuck for this this Uta stuff. I want to see what kind of power he has. I'm still gonna be salty if he bests Donato though. I'm still gonna be salty. What a pitiful child. Just because your father died, you continue to fight your misfortunes. All are your father's doing. Bro, he's coaxing him even more and more. Like, why? You... 
he that's only like fueling his rage and drawing out more of his power here. But at this point, I don't think there's any turning back for for Rudy right now. Dude, if him and Mutsuki have to tread the same path at this stage, that's gonna be interesting to witness too. That's really gonna be interesting to witness. Slightly, just just in a deranged, depraved, delirious state. I choose this path myself. I chose to become an investigator. At least he still has self awareness right now. You fight till you're basically in pieces. You can't eat a thing. You choose to do these things? You wanted him to acknowledge you, didn't you? Wanted him to pat your head in approval. Bro, Donato is the Lord, bro. Fucking completely destabilizing him, dude. I don't think I don't think Rudy can bounce back from this. I really don't. And you've tried to make those vestigial dreams come true by smashing them against your surroundings. Absolutely futile. No matter how much you get promoted, no matter how grand of a legacy you leave behind you, you will never feel whole because you do not have a real family. See, that's completely destabilizing and shitting on the, 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 every, the, the entirety of what's driven Uriya to this point. And I think it's going to have a profound effect on his mentality. And he does have a slight bit of a point, dude, because realistically all he's doing is treading a path of vengeance and, and walking in his father's shadow in order to gain, garner these achievements um, and honor his name and, and claim vengeance for him. But at the end of the day, what he... What, and I think Uri has moved so well to that point already, and I don't think he himself, though, has accepted it 100%, nor has he really thought about it to that extent. It's just innate in terms of consciously, in terms of interaction with the Qs, but he generally sees them as a family. I guarantee you that, um, especially Mitsuki and Psycho. So, if he can shift his focus to that, I think that's going to be the only saving grace for him after this, for sure. Because there's no way Donato kills him here, but there's no way Uri kills Donato either. I'm, if if Donato dies here, I don't care if we're at frame five right now. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling bullshit because it's been way too long in the making. I still need the Amon stuff. I can't have Donato just go out randomly like that. Often. I mean, even when the, with with Ishida trying to throw in this whole tie to Uriya's father, I, I, it needs to be there. Has to be at least some reconciliation with Amon before Donato goes out. <sighs> that slash though, bro. That's like that. That I forgot how fucking savage his Kogaku was. Holy shit. Kukiurie. Allow me to spell it out for you. The only person you truly hate is your father himself. Bro, don't listen to him, Uri. He's playing with you right now. He's a master of manipulation. I could, I, 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 all I wish is, I could, is that I could see his face right now inside of the mask. Because you know he's making the most twisted look. You've hated the weakling that died and left you behind all this while. You're just baiting your anger right now. You're going to get sloppier and sloppier. And he has you in the palm of his hand. No fucking... Well, yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody goes out after uttering such a savage line. Donato's regenerative prowess probably is, is next is, is god tier. They're there. Wait, what the fuck is this? There's no need to let it get under your skin. No way, dude. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Woo! Donato! Donato! You're, you're you're joking right now. You're joking right now. This is this is holy fucking shit. No way. No fucking way, bro. I I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Are you fucking kidding me? What? His, his finger. 
his sole finger. And that application is, is on her. So you're telling, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me, maybe it's, maybe, maybe if, if at, at that rate, going back to, to the humans being used in the battle, that it, it's his doing too. You're telling me that Donato was able to take the smallest, the smallest portion of his body, fucking piece of his index finger, detach that and form a, a full replica of himself as a, 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 a moving reading. I don't know if he, if he, if he like legitimately puppeteered it or if he just imbued his essence to it and let it loose. And it was like a perfect, that's where this, this cloning nonsense is coming into play then. That's what they, that what people must have been talking about. So he forged like, 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 legitimately took a piece of himself as a detachable cognate, similar to, like, the, the Etonora stuff, and replicated his entire visage, his mentality, his speech, everything, a perfect clone, which seemingly, and, and that, that means to me, because there's no way that had access to his full powers, even though it probably had, like, RC content in and of itself, which means his RC rating has to be phenomenally high in order to do that in and of itself, to imbue a consciousness into it, if he wasn't, like, sh legitimately just puppeteering, which I think he would have been, I think he's, he's, he's gotten he's versatile enough to do that, but that's fucking crazy, bro. And it was standing toe-to- it was wrecking shit, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Urie, who had just unleashed fifth frame, and you're telling me that that's not but the man's fucking finger. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I need some water. I don't I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. Do not do not dude. Do not My hopes were not misplaced, bro. Seems I've lost a finger. Not even phased by it. Think about the potential. Think about first of all. Think about what that says about one. Donato's base capabilities, his RC cell level, his 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 ingenuity in terms of manipulating his cognitive. He's, dude, I, I fuck fuck him being a, the the idea of him being a chimera, and I, I guarantee you he has to be cognitive at this point. I guarantee you, he has to be. If he's not, that's just maddening. That's absolutely insane. That's one of the most versatile applications I've ever. No, he's the single most versatile application. Okay, I've, I've, I've ever seen more so than anything Eto did with her detachable cognate madness. Even with the with, with with the sentient nature of hers, to be able to imbue his own consciousness and thoughts onto it. I don't know if it adapts separately from him. I, I doubt that very much. He had to have been actively controlling it because that's the only way I think it could really work and maintain that level of capability and agency. If, if it's not like that, then, then he's just broken. That's maddening. And to, yo, and to think, I, like that, yo, for a second I thought the man was playing. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. This is crazy, bro. This is absolutely insane. If, that, if that's the thing, too. If the finger regens, and it looks like it's breaking away legit, like the whole portion of his arm at this stage. Constructed of his cognate. You know, I'm. I, I have to think about this a little bit more right now. I, I. I can't even. This is. This is mind blowing shit right here. Now I understand why people are telling me this chapter is so hype. This one fucking page changed it. Like, I, I, even though I'm. am a little bit sad. Aside from Uta doing the Shinohara stuff, which was fucked up in and of itself. I wanted a, a, a bigger look at that clash, but this is well worth it right now. Someone, my God, please save me. And he's fucking breaking right now, dude. He can't shut it down. It's expanding. Look at that. Dude, I don't even know who's going to come up on me right now. Bro, Donato is next. I, I've never been more satisfied with a character that I had expectation for than Donato right now. That's fucking insane. Whew, I can't get over it. Play games with them all. 
with one fucking finger. He has that level of control and manipulation and ingenuity with his governor. And he has the base physical levels in order to do something like that. Like, he's a lord. He's a Fadonato. Sing Lanley's became one of, the, one of the strongest characters in the fucking series. Straight up. Straight up, dude. Straight up. He's on that top tier. And I would have said that I, I, and honestly, people, despite the shit they give him, I say the same thing about Tatar, to be honest with you. Um, man went out by, by, by business means. It's gotten stronger. There's no mistaking it. We're getting closer. Dude, say that's a weird look you have in your eye. This guy's got the nose of a dog. Was he actually even human? Yeah, it's a sore spot. Don't question the man. You you don't you don't know what this man has been through. You really don't. Only Kaneki can understand. Even then, the Sado torture was. If if it wasn't for Kaneki getting sodomized, I'd say the, the Sado torture was was probably more fucked up. That's the only thing that changes the game. I've been taught the trick to reconnaissance before. I can't do it as well as Hinami or Misa, but I'll try to check what's going on inside. Hinami or Misa. I mean, I guess that's that's realistically. Ayato's only point of, of reference because I was about to say Irimi is by far superior as far as as, as Recon is concerned to Misa as far as from my perspective anyway but that's what I'm thinking now, now it changes I still would like Itori to be, beyond, be behind that I don't think Donato could have simultaneously used the Tachibu Kagane and, and, and influenced the wills of all those humans and still had enough to make that perfect replica of himself, even th with diminished abilities, which is what's crazy. And you know, I'm done. I'm done thinking about that right now. We, we'll, we'll revisit that shit. There are researchers inside, eight and all. The fuck? Oh, you hit the lights. The lights. What in the? An outage. We're okay. We'll switch to the substitute power supply. I'm going to check the breakers. Lead, oh, the Lord, move and you die. Oh, as long as you guys cooperate, there'll be no casualties here. Macedo runs wild. That should be all of them. Just sit tight here. There's the RC suppressor, so it's inside that canister. Sorry, I don't feel. I can't even blame you, dude. <laughs> Bro, look at Sado. Couldn't even hold it in. Damn it, you idiots. Well, it's not like that thing smells like daisies to me either, but yo, I tell you, you don't even know what they've been through with that shit. It, it, of course, it doesn't smell good to you, but you don't understand. When you got that trauma, it's just gonna fuck with you heavy. Seriously, though, this much suppressor drug, what in the world are they doing with it? Oh, shit. It's down here. Wait, no, okay, wait. I'm... No fucking way. No fucking way. Tell me this is on some 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 Kano level shit though. Cause if this is what people are talking about with cloning, I guess that makes more sense than the not the thing actually. Cause I wouldn't call that cloning straight up. I mean, it, it technically is, but it's more just like. A, a, a attachable Kagane imbued with his own agency unless and if he's puppeteering it then I wouldn't call it like a sendy creature I think it would just be the Nato himself but you're telling me Rise 77 Rise 78 Rise 79 like what 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 are, what are, what are in these twos what are in these tanks and you see, see the only reason I can see where they are is the pressure too and, and look and look at wait wait look at the look at the visage of them See, I don't know if they're complete, like, straight-up genetic clones of Rise, which, the importance of which I'll talk about at a later date, because I've been... It all goes to the to the, the endgame theory I was thinking of for Tokyo Ghoul that I'm working on currently as we speak, but... It would be better if they were legitimately trying to replicate the Kano technique, but I, to me, it seems like they're legitimately splicing Rise's DNA rather than 
farming your cocoa, especially since they wouldn't have direct access to it anymore in order to complete that process unless they had some, a, a root base. They just have her, and how they obtained it initially is another question that I, that I have to ponder. Necessity also for this particular lab. I mean, at that stage, you know that this is under the control of E, but I'm done. I'm fucking done. This chapter is crazy. Everyone's futures, they're riding on me. No, <laughs> bro. My apologies. Nothing was riding on, t on you until Sato hopped on your back. That's fucked up. Like I'd let you. Give it your best, Chaco. What the? What the fuck did you just do? The fuck is Chaco, dude? Oi, that's... Yo, you see the re on the container? Do they have a complete <laughs> recyclone? And that's the thing too with the meaning of it. Wait, 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 hold on. What? No fucking way, dude. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. You're kidding me right now. You're kidding me right now. They have a mon. I mean, I, always, I I believed he survived. I knew he survived. I knew he survived after that cycle confrontation. But what the fuck is he doing here in this tank? Like, is it, what is this? A rejuvenation tank? Are they cloning off of him too? You see these these scars. I mean, not a hundred percent, but he. What, but they're releasing him from the tank now. With his name hang, having been called, the man that was once the CCG's justice itself awakens with bright eyes. Kotaro Amayo Kaneki. And look, yo, look at those eyes. I'm done. I'm not. Are, are, are we actually getting an Amon Kaneki confrontation right now? And I guarantee you at this point, like the man called, what, what was that? It was that like some sort of code name, some sort of nickname he made? Is it really actually not Amon himself? If it is, if it is the, if it is legitimately Amon and they got, they retrieved the body, took it back to the lab. I feel like they've probably done something to kind of stifle um, and, and preclude his own personal agency and, and maybe his memories as well. See, even this is, is, is I just didn't expect to see Amon come back this soon, man. Because I was thinking Ishida was going to play that long game yet again until re-revealing him. Because of, of how, how lackluster the initial revelation was until the Kakuta transformation. Bro, this chapter is insane. The Rise shit is fucking crazy to me, too. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking back through this real quick, dude. Shit, fucking. The Shinohara mask, bro. That's, that's a low blow, Uta. That's a low motherfucking blow. Holy shit, man. So it wasn't for Gara coming in there. It would have been done. I love this Furuta panel, though. And Udiego, I'm curious about what state Udiego is going to be in, but I, okay, still, the craziest part about this chapter, even with the Amon revelation, even with this Rise cloning shit happening, by far the craziest part of this chapter is, one, this, the, the Nato dialogue, which is just so twisted and manipulative, just coaxing him and drawing out his anger, but then this revelation, dude. The man legitimately detached a piece of himself as the detachable cognate and puppeteered that. Probably had like some fraction of his overall potential. What that says about Donato, both RC levels, base prowess, you know, the ceiling to the ways in which he can manipulate his cognate, his ingenuity, his prowess, it's obscene. It, uh, he, he was beaten before. He'd be bitten, he'd been in Coakley ever since. 
So tell me how. Like, was 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 he always that beast? And they just got that. They were that. They were that beast. After I mean, they we. That's the thing though. We know that originally that squad was 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 godly, but. If he could slip that out too. Donato by far is one of the most versatile Kagane I've ever seen in my life. Really and truly. It's madness. And that's all the damage he took after fully forming that replica. Is a fucking finger. Fucking crown, fucking lord. <laughs> I can't even right now, I'm out, I'm done.